Hey y'all. It's Brent here for Topo Ranger. And we're back in Marysville. Marysville Tunnels. I did a scouting episode a while back. I don't know if I'm in the frame here. But we're back. We got one, we got two. I don't know what's down that way. I think there's a stream goes under a rail yard. I think there's one or two skylights, so. I've just been taking some, some shots here. Um, let's go see what happens, all right? Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications, okay? And I'll, I'll post any pics that I get today up on, up on Topo Ranger uh, Instagram feed. That's T-O-P-O -O underscore Ranger, T-O-P-O -O underscore Ranger. It's been a while since we've got back here. If I remember correctly, up here we're gonna have a couple of culverts that go under quite a uh, railroad, uh, stretch of railroad that's pretty wide. So whatever's up here should be fairly long. Uh, I don't mean thousands of feet, but it's gotta be big. It's gotta be a pretty good width to take this stream. I can see it already, it's looking pretty good. So far so good. Here we are, the end of the first section. Now, if you come here yourself, uh, the water's a little bit higher than it was last time I was here. Uh, on the other side of the tunnel, it's probably three, four feet deep. You're gonna wanna stick to the right-hand side. As you're coming in, you wanna stick to the right-hand side. But uh, over the summer, I imagine the water gets significantly lower, probably a lot easier. Crow. The Crow. Remember that movie? With Bruce Lee's Bruce Lee uh, Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee. And then he uh didn't he accidentally die on set because somebody put in a there was a scene with a gun that there was supposed to be a uh, a blank or a dummy round in there and somebody put a real one in it or the dummy round hit him in the head or something like that? He was in that movie, The Crow. That was sad. He was like in his 20s. Uh, anyway, let's not get depressed here. Um, this is the deep part I was talking about right here. And I'm basically standing on a outcrop of what I think was that sandstone. And you can see it's right here. It's kind of chalky and blocky with some shale interbedded. Uh, right there, you can kind of see it. It's like dipping like this, dipping like that, striking like that. Look at, a, look at this though, man. Oh, shit. All right, let's, let's soldier on. I gotta follow the up shot to get back. Oh. So you come to this inter intermediate area and which is in between 
the highway. And this is the first culvert. Now, I, <laughs> now this is pretty big, but you know, after that last one we went to in the Lancaster County, Jumbawago, this doesn't really seem that high. It's probably 40, 40, 45 foot feet high. But look at this one here. This next one's gonna be really big. spot right there you see that that's probably got to be six feet there All right, we reached the, uh, what I guess you would call the main culvert here. And we're here at a good time because the light is starting to uh, come through there. This is the first one. And look at that, look at that light. That's nice. You can kind of see cars right up, right up here. And even it's hitting the water, making the water look kind of emerald greenish. But look at the ceiling here. I mean, look at that. It's lighting it up like a, like a photograph. You see that? Penetrating right in there. Wow. And there are a profusion of uh, formations here, dripping, like cave-like, dripping down from the ceiling. I need to get some stills of this. Look at that lighting, man. It's a big honking culvert, man. I'd say it's, you know, 50 feet wide. It's only about 20, 25 feet high, but it's big. I mean, this is the biggest culvert I think I've ever been in. And it seems to be in two sections. Uh, first one goes from here to there. Then you have this big arch, which looks really cool. And, um, Big sandbank, rocks. There's a big soda straw right there. Massive log. Boom. Hello. Hello. Not much of an echo. Okay. And look at this. So once we get down here, this section here, which maybe is the older section, is actually paved with these massive stones. Look at that. Okay, let's get the light out. Yeah, look at this. Look at these 
massive paving stones. I mean, can you imagine when the water comes raging in here? And the sound of the stream, the stream is going over a little walk, kind of little, some ripples down here, kind of echoes. Hello! Look at these, these pavers, man. Huge. I wonder how long this thing's been here. It's on a bigger scale than anything I've seen before, or anything that I've been in. And you can see the water, water has had its way with the, uh, with this area right here. So nice, let's get over there. And Get a shot of that, those formations over there. Hopefully it doesn't go over my boots. Oh. Yeah, it's getting pretty close there. Oh. And the current's pretty strong too. It's a nice size creek. Um, let's hit that one. Oh, there we go. You got it. Oh yeah. That creek right there. Where were the, oh there they are. It looks better without the light. But I kind of like the light to, for the water. All right. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'm going to get some stills here while I still got some light. Uh, this is a really cool place to come to because uh, it's, e it's really easy to get to. The parking is literally right there. You go down a slope, you come through the first kind of modern, uh, newish concrete arch tunnel, stay on the right side, and uh, boom, you hit the first culvert, and boom, you hit the second culvert. And this one, the second one is big enough <clears throat> that when you're in it, you really get a a feeling of uh, space and volume and the sound of the rushing water and the way the light streams down and the, you can see there's glistening drops of water like you know it's 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 uh, it's quite pleasing aesthetically uh, and for photographs um you know, if you come here on a day when the sun is really shining this is a great spot to get some really cool uh, uh dramatic photos so uh, again as always do your own research don't don't rely on what I say, there's a train. And always be safe. All right, I'm gonna get some stills, all right? Thanks for coming. Love having you guys with me. This is Brett for Topo Ranger, signing out.